Could this be a soup? Yeah, <laughs> sure, buddy. There's nothing here, sadly. Decent spot to hide if you're an invader, as long as people don't know the, don't know how the map works. Uh, nothing to really do there. This is the guy that sometimes falls through world, but he isn't doing it today, surprisingly. Down here, however. Uh, yeah, what happens is he falls through world and he's hanging out there. Uh, wasn't this time, surprisingly. Remember, whips are bad. No utility. They suck, have poor damage, can't be used to beat anyone ever in invasions, definitely have no use in PvP, in PvE, and PvP. Just flat out the worst. Ignore any capacity you might use to wall hack enemies and hit them through debris. That would be stupid to do such a thing. Definitely something you should not learn to do as an invader. It has no utility and definitely no uses applicable to the wider game of Dark Souls 3. Or Bloodborne for that matter of fact, of course not. Who'd ever use the fretted cane? Other than the pimpest of individuals. Oh, speaking of which, here's their invisibility ship. Okay, gotta be careful. Oh, got caught on it. Gotcha, buddy. Alright, up we go. Fun times in the roof. I remember... Yeah, it was Cinders. Cinders put an item right there on the barrels. Which you can get onto. Not worth it. Not a good hiding spot. Fuck me. All out of enemies. Uh, except for the ones up here. I really do like this fashion, Souls. Looks rather snazzy. Pretty sure this is similar to something I wear on one of my... I wore on one of my nights previously. Also, that was also a dex build. Rapiers and Frost. Was pretty neat, actually. Not the best. But hey. I'll try this shenanigans. Yeah. How about you don't do that, please? Also a nice hiding place right down the back there. Um, the second you see someone coming up, jump, run. Silver Cat is great for this. I'm, I've definitely mentioned it in an old video of some sort where I set up, well, an impromptu hide-and-seek contest. I killed most of the enemies in the game, uh, in this area, had a build with hidden body, slumbering, uh, drank first ring, wearing the assassin's armor, and I kind of just hid from everyone forever. I'm sure that was really annoying to the uh, invaders and some of the blue phantoms, but yeah. There's some nice hiding places in Neverfill. Oh, here we go. You done, buddy? There you are. Alright, we do have to heal for this part. Alright, so down here. There's that one guy hanging just there. There's also a, a little friend down by the cliff. That guy's going to scream and it's going to alert all his friends. We ain't going to let that happen. They can poise for it, so you got to be careful. Gotcha. Blood gem. Only guaranteed one in the game from memory, except for the one in Ashes, which I got last time. So only guaranteed one in the base game. Yes, yeah, I'm positive that's the case. Um, infused Titanite, slept by Irrefill Slaves. Used in, um, yeah, creates lacerating weapons. Such weapons inflict lacerating damage, most effective with spikes or sharp weapons. Yeah, how about you don't? Alright, there's these, well, there's one here. Don't miss the guys over here. No, no, okay, guess not. That's, oh, yeah, this is the one with two. Got it, I fucked that up. I was getting really confused there. Right, and for good measure, invisible wall with a lizard. Which you can see from up there. We can't see the lizard, but you can see this uh, this spot exists. Just from there. Yeah, we'll leave Silver Cat on for a sec. I'm not really going to be using the weapon up. Radio, here we go. Uncle Mo, who I am while you eat. 
So as centipedes, we met in the painted world. Yeah, looking kind of like uh, Sadako and various other Japanese spirits of many descriptions. So if you don't kill the Ponif Beast, he jumps down here and was like, no, fight me, fucker. You can politely decline and run your ass off, or you can fight him in deep water. If you're a clever bugger and you have hidden body and a slumbering dra dragon, crest uh, dragon crest ring, a common theme in this playthrough, you can hide around here when he spawns. Pop a seed of a giant tree and let him fight the invader. I mean, good chance the invader's gonna win, but half the time, they're not really expecting something like that, so... One of my favorite tricks to do was that exact same setup in the water reserve area. Um, anyone that knows that room knows what happens there. It's some good shit. And great heal, huh? What ambush? I mean, unless you're talking about a dog friend jumping off the bridge. Great heal. Glorious miracle used by high-ranking clerics. Restores a large amount of HP for self and those in the vicinity. Only, yeah, only a select few have learned to recite this epic tale in its entirety, but those who do are amply rewarded. Pretty sure that's because there's the more basic version of it. Um, is that in... I know it's in 1 and 2. I totally forget if it's in this game. Because eventually you realize heal aid is the most efficient um, healing spell. Which sucks. Um, I said if you need a huge burst of healing, yeah, of course, go nuts. Yeah. Philinor's chime's pretty good. Philinor's chime's pretty solid in that regard, though. Alright. So, up ahead. Well, it's a liar. Fuck off. No items down there, either. Might go for a scenic look, look in a second, but bonfire, bonfire, bonfire. It's a bonfire, guys. We march on down that way. There's um, a pond of night, two slaves, fire witch, and an invader after the fact. So by wait, let's look at this while we've got a sec. Armor of the Pontiff Knights, now harrowed spirits of Virafil. This blue-gray armor, shrouded in a thinly cold air, is light and brittle. In spite of the fact it has the exact same durability as the Undead Legion armor. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool for fashion. I'll pop it on in a little bit. In a big bit. Here we go. So underneath us is Smoldering Lake, right here. So there was meant to be some kind of shortcut between the broken uh, broken staircase, broken path, and underneath us. In the mods, they kind of just whack in a teleport point, but um, yeah. So that's Irifil Dungeon there. Alva from Dark Souls 2 shows up um, with his Murakumo. Nothing here, though. Looking a little DS2 in some of these textures, though. Not quite the PS2. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. Some of those trees are looking kind of not great. Not as bad as Forest of the Fallen Giants, but... Eh. That is a good starting level. I'm just kind of sick of looking at it, because it's, well, the first place to go most of the time. For reasons. Especially if you do want that Silver Serpent Ring from Melentia as fast as possible. Which you might, depending. Sewer centipedes. His mate half saw me. Yes, he did. Back foul beasts. Fuckers. Man, what's the point of even having those two points if I never use Kalfa's flame mark? Am I right? Alright, come here. No, you don't. Get good. Man, the invaders are really not around today. Return of Dragon Lake ended ages ago. The fuck is everyone? Well, I mean, Boletaria, I guess. Enjoying their game where you can never delete a save file unless you want to delete everything. Amazing work, Sony. I, I also love the fact that you're trying to, you know, remove players' capacities to download old games. That's, that's a great PR move. I'm sure that'll work out amazingly for you. 
Yeah, so if Grey Rat, if Grey Rat isn't saved, his corpse is here. You get his ash, and it has what he picked up from this run, but you can't get well the stuff from Lothric Castle at the end of the game. Go, Fat Man, go! So there are people here. We're seeing phantoms. Hmm. Excrement covered ash. Let's look, shall we? Unclean umbral ash. Coated with excrement. Perhaps it's possible the handmaiden filing shrine could turn it into a few new things. Oh, to save a sweet pungency, but once more. Props to whoever stacked those. <laughs> Mad props to the uh, level design. Well, the um, what would you call it? Not level design. The environment designer working on that. Um, we talk to Seek. He's got a heal for us. That's a heal too. Supposedly, that's the thing that kills Grey Rat, but I I fucking highly doubt that. I think people just totally misinterpreted what happened. Yeah. Anyway. Recognize these guys? I recognize these guys. Alright, let's do this. Let's whack on you. Okay, here's what we're doing actually. A little different to what a lot of players are going to do. We have these seeds of a giant tree, right? Good thing I have been saving them so far. We would have four, but I traded one. You can sneak past this guy with a ring. You can also sneak past him by walking. Alright, so once we're past a certain point, Pale Shade will invade, and it's roughly here. The dogs show up. Yep. As you can see, they get a little air time. So what you do, for a good old laugh, is mosey on into here. Come to about here, and come get some treasure. But in the meantime, let the fun begin. Yeah, I got trapped in like an invisible force field with those ones. It was fucking strange. Divine Blessing. Smoke Straight Hammer. Wanda Pale Shade getting beaten up. And, and V Leo Ring. So if you stand right below this knight. Yeah, well, this will start happening. They're all distracted, so perfect. Get down there. Help the fight. The seed's gonna wear off, so I hope they finish her off in time. The <laughs> dude's trying to wall hack me. So that's that taken care of. And we got that Estus back. Perfect. I should have one Ash and Estus. I should have worked that out by now. But alas. Didn't have the brains for it. They always give you guaranteed shards, um, large shards. You can get lucky and get their armor. Speaking of which, let's give it a shot. From the top rope. Hey, arrows. Sick. Swap back to this. Amazing chest ahead. You know the, you know the routine at this point. You know the deal. A lot of stuff to read. Visions of happiness. Okay. My favorite part of Virafil. Oh boy, do I have many fond memories about this spot. What the fuck are the dogs? Yeah, so there's also mo. Uh, what am I saying? Also. Also some uh, snipers, so to speak. Not woken up though, for some reason. That's weird, you're sleeping on the job. All the more, try running. If we walk on over here, let's try this. Yep. Yeah. 
Amazing. Check out this puppy. Take these luring skulls, puppy Sif. They'll protect you from urban violence. Yeah, it appears our friend went invisible. They're trying to trying to sneak up on us. Ah, uh, there we go. Prick. So that's strange. One dog just kind of disappeared. I wonder if it started to walk upstairs and that's what happened. Maybe. If I wasn't recording this, I'd, you know, go check it out, but... Fuck that. Yeah, that's really weird, actually. That never happens. Hmm. The dog sends the bitch in your heart. That's what happened, Pale Shade. That's why you lost. Be wary of ambush. Yep. This is a really funny way to do this room. Can't get most of them. There we go. So with frost, fire will keep, uh, will remove the current frost build up. And that just lets him get frosted again. So you have an endless cycle. It's like poetry. It rhymes. I feel like one's coming to get me, but I could be wrong. Sometimes you can piss these guys off and they'll climb down the ladder. Or just drop on here. It's not the best. It's kind of, kind of not fun. Hey, buddy. Look at you guys. Hey, blood gem, neat. That'd be cool. That'd be quite handy if we were doing, like, you know... Oh, there we go. Knew it. Fucker. You fuckers! Haha, <laughs> -ha, I knew there some of you left. Why don't you just have a listen? No, no, it appears we're safe. No, that's just the uh, geometry I'm getting caught up on. Radio. Well, that worked quite well. We're at the end already. Neat. Killed two invaders. Um, hmm. Just one last guy to worry about. You. I fucked that up. This guy is kind of weird. He's the one Scythe Knight in the whole game. If you backstab him, he has some weird iframes on the ground. I don't know what's up with it. I have no clue. I mean, what's up with that? Baron Ring. Very useful. For when you want to break someone's guard and do it another 20 times. So, Enry Summon Sign should be hit. Gotthards is hit. And Pale Shades will be over there when we get Yuria to forgive us for our treachery. All in the name of getting an item set and a weapon. Well, sorry, an armor set and a weapon. Yep, it's just when you get close to this gate. So that's everything dead in Aerophil, bar... Well, actually, yeah, no, that is, because I killed that first pond of nine. Just chilling down there. So we're good. Yeah. That went really well. You can totally land on this um, just there. It's a pretty good hiding spot, just putting it out there. You want to troll some invaders? I highly recommend it. Uh, just make sure you take care of the uh, uh, fire witches, because they know where you are and they will hurt. Big time. Alright, so now we head back to the church. Henry will be gone. I'm curious to see if the um, Pilgrim rediscards itself. Because I haven't actually done this before. Haven't actually checked this out. Nope. Okay, cool. Well, anri has gone. We killed everything we can. Got everything. Um, just have to head down to that little part with Alva later on. Alright. Sorry, what I should do is go to Undead Settlement... Have it forgive my sins, then I'll head back and talk to Uria. Uh, Uria. So you know what? I'm going to make a cut here. See you in what I assume is going to be part three of Irafil. Or part two if I'm lazy and I don't cut this up. Right. Couple of things to do. Uh -huh. Real quick. 
Umber Lash. Yep, let's have a look. I'm pretty sure, so no, that's not how you get the Moss Clubs. That's weird. How do you get them again? Huh. I know it's the Dung Pie stuff, that's what we get. I feel like it doesn't mean anymore. Maybe, it, yeah, it's a. It's all. It's them, I'm pretty sure. And what else? Something else we get from that. Maybe it is just that. Oh, well. Just dung in that. What do we get? The Rhyme Blue Moss Club? Oh, that's right. Um, It's from Mirrorfield Dungeon. Nothing to get from Grey Rat. But meanwhile, over here. As you can see, I paid off my heavy debts. You cannot pay me. My scent beseems most familiar. A sweet fragrance, long faded from our own bosoms. How this came to pass I know not, but take heed. Kindness can wear upon one's principles. Our Lord and Liege. Knowest thou of a maid named Amri? She is hollow and will join thee in wedlock. A fellow of mine guides her at this moment. When the time is ripe, thou mayst make thy salutations. For what lord taketh no spouse? Our lord and liege. Knows thou she of the Till we meet again. May the dark sigil guide thee. Yep, so taken care of. I'll grab these rings eventually just for my own sake. We'll grab that for later. Tailed me. Oh, of course. On. So, bows are for Carla, well, that is. Me. And we'll grab one of these because now, thanks to its unique properties of the Purging Stone, Ash Colored Stone encasing a skull reduces undead curse buildup and cures hollowing. Inhabit inhabitants of Londor. A land of hollows, used this secret treasure to feign normalcy. Occasionally a hollow even fools himself, and turns on his own kind. So at this point, it's cheaper than paying off the, uh, the cost down in the, uh, in the sewers. Because it's a hundred per level. Yeah, a hundred per level. Um, as for paying off the uh, whole hidden Uria thing, that was a thousand per level. So that was fifty. That was fifty-five thousand. Yeah. Take we have just enough for a level, and it's going into this because there, because Let Pontiff me. hits fucking hard. But before that, real quick, got to burn that. I grabbed the um, seed of a giant tree. Let's have a look at this real quick. A braille tomb of Londor, first spoken by Lillian of the Sable Church, the one of the system, the only system that doesn't show up in this game. Give this to a storyteller to, to learn miracles of Londor. This is a forbidden tome, as it offers salvation to all hollows, and conversely curses things all living. Um, I read all this stuff. Doris went mad. Um, where is it? Two things to read here. Smog's Great Hammer, Twisted Great Hammer associated with Smog for last night to remain at his post, guarding the ruined cathedral. The source HP while attacking a carryover from Smog's past as an executioner. And you have Perseverance. Neat. The Oscar Spear, which we got in the room with all the hollow, uh, all the um, slaves. I guess they're hollows. Um, this treasure gifted to the Yoshka Church is enchanted by a soporific spell something like that and was surreptitious surreptitiously a word from soft glove worshipped by irishville slaves as a weapon it is part spear and part hammer the former allows allows thrusting and the latter allowing strikes pacify raises spear and prayer and temporarily wear down enemy fp with each strike not as good as you'd hope unfortunately no other weapons to read uh, let's see. Shields, no. Uh, Pond of Night. Um, Frigid Spirits, Linger and Aerofill, Blue Grey Shield, Brittle, even though well, it's not. Actually, yeah, the shield is kind of brittle. Not as brittle as Gru Tech, but. Um, and then, just real quick Sneering Mask, 
Gold mask worn by those who kill in the name of Sable Church of Londor, a faint kindly smile is bound to its surface, giving them the moniker Harlots of Death, which is why I refer to them as a she. What lies beneath that expression, however, is nothing more than the face of a darkly shriveled hollow. No other armor. And the last thing, absolutely the last fucking thing we got from this session, not including that, because who cares, is the Leah Ring, associated with Ornstein, one of the four knights of Gwyn, the first lord, strengthens thrust weapon counter attacks. Ornstein was the first knight of the sun's eldest born, and his crossbear is said to have pierced the scales made of stone, referring to the old stone dragons. All right. Now that shit's done. Two things. Grabbing some armor. And gonna go beat up Pontiff. Cause you know, that's kind of the whole point of this operation. I thought that was the whole point of going to Irrefield. But does Pontiff Sullivan have a flavorless mush called Rootmar? I don't know, maybe. Yep, there's the corpse. Sometimes you should leave a corpse well alone. Sometimes. Who let this corpse join the tournament? I mean, what's up with that? I don't know why I went for KOF, but... Is that Fatal Fury? I don't fucking remember. Creighton's goodies. Alright, real quick. Hopefully we don't get invaded now. A tire of Creighton, a wanderer, a notorious deserter who fled an order of Mirror Knights. Despite the mask being a symbol of a criminal sen sentence to death, Creighton never removed it. And, yep. Featuring the heraldry, her heraldry, a stag set against a blue field. It was dishonorable, but Creighton never took it off. Because Creighton's a fucking badass. He's gonna get that bastard Pete. I'm gonna get that bastard, bastard Peter Serafinowitz. I can't believe I was so dense. Uh, Creighton's actually pretty good in Dark Souls 2. I like him. Kind of a nothing character, I guess, in the context of plot, but... Ah, fuck it, who cares? Alright, uh, Carthus Flame Mark. Don't know how helpful it's going to be in this boss fight, but... Fuck it. We're going to kill stuff on the way, so screw it. Hearty plunging attack. Gotcha. Nope, nothing. Okay, screw you. Normally you can uh, run it, but I just want to point out the summon that we have available. Bloodstone. Bloodstone. All blood gem. Pot of night. Pot of night. One shot. One kill. Alright, we get to demonstrate this, um, BS. Yeah, that's a pale shape right there. So I'll just take a few swings to demonstrate their iframes. Yep. Scythe isn't very good, unfortunately. Pale shade. Got a... Henry. Right, well. Time to change up the armor a tiny bit. Onyx, too heavy? Damn. Alright, let's swap over to... What's something that looks cool? You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, Gale Set's pretty neat, actually. I do like it. Oh, uh, where is it? Mirror Chain. Let's swap to something a little lighter. Mayhaps. Just a ragged mask. To prove I'm not of a hollow descent anymore. And... Yeah, sure. Alright. Let's get him. Hmm. Fire. Don't have a magic one, so fire bombs are of no use. This will be though. Alright, so if I die, I'm just gonna run back here, okay? There is a good chance it actually happens. Cause Pontiff does not fuck around.
Interestingly enough, Pontiff can kind of be seen as a successor to uh, Dark Lurker from DS2, who I've never actually fought because I'm a massive coward and haven't gone through the uh, pit. So that, that stab is a pseudo grab, I guess you'd call it. We staggered him. That one is two. Okay, here's the fucking combo. With the roll catch of death. Too bad I can't see because I'm in a wall. Let's heal up. He's probably going to tag me, but fuck it. Worth it. We've almost got him down to enough. Yep. Alright. So here's the part where you learn it's a stand battle. Unfortunately, we didn't do enough damage because I did it too soon. Fuck. Yeah, if you get bad RNG, Pontiff can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, what are we doing? Yeah, so if it's not very apparent to people who haven't played this game, Pontiff himself copies what his stand does. A soul spear of some description. Got to back the fuck off. We're going to heal. One, two. Soul wave is what they call it in the mods. It's a pretty fucking rad spell in everything it's in. Okay. Almost got him. Man, if only I had some kind of ranged weapon that I've been neglecting for most of the playthrough. What are you doing, buddy? All right. Fuck this. We're hit with that as fuck right now, but... Got him. Man, I should have just gotten in there and fought him, right? And Pontiff defeated. I honestly got pretty lucky with the uh, pattern he went for. That could have been way fucking worse. Alright, well, that's taken care of. Henry's um, sent on her way. Gonna meet us in Analondo in a little bit. Creighton was defeated. Palshade was defeated. We got both armor sets and the Dragon Slayer Axe. We grabbed the Ashes. Grey Rat's safe. Sieg, I have not spoken to, but well, we'll take care of that in a little bit. At the start of the, well, the next part, I guess, when we're heading into Irrefield Dungeon for real. But just quickly, let's just have a look what we can get from his soul. Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. So, happen upon any twisted souls. Okay, so we have the Great Sword of Judgment. Pretty fucking red if you're an int build. Well, you know, like a warrior mage, whatever you want to... Whatever fucking nerdy subclass you want to describe yourself as. A ceremonial sword held in Pontiff Sullivan's left hand representing the judgment of the moon. But with magic, far closer to sorcery than any existing lunar power. Its dark blue hues, deeper than the darkest moon, reflects Sorcerer Sullivan's true nature. Assume a stance to unleash dark magic, even though it scales with int. Use normal attack for... a lunging thrust and strong attack to emit a side a side sweeping wave on the other hand you could get the profaned greatsword a ceremonial sword held in the right hand representing the profane flame which we'll find in the profane capital at the end of Irrefil dungeon long ago when sullivan was yet a young sorcerer he discovered the profane capital and an unfading flame below a distant tundra of Irrefil, and a burning ambition took root within him Temporarily summon the profane flame. Lunge forward to use a strong attack to enshroud the blade in flame. I'm pretty sure it's a stomp weapon art it uses. I barely use this thing, so... Out of the two, this is probably what I'm going for in this playthrough, but... I don't really need either of them at this point. Alright, how many levels? Not three, that's for damn sure. Alright. Gonna be boring. We're in that part of the playthrough where bulking up and getting more endurance is far more important. Cool. So now I can farm Irrefil with impunity, with no risk of being invaded. Um, yeah. And I can get a bunch of cool armor sets as a consequence. 
Right, well, that's everything. Yeah. Sullivan imprisoned a god of the old royalty in the abandoned cathedral to be fed to the devourer. Hmm, wonder who that could be. Yeah, it's got this stuff. I'll read him one day, perhaps. Or not, doesn't really matter. Soul of the Blood of the Wolf. I kind of sandbag uh, sandbagged that by not reading it. Let's just check in on Yuria really, really quick. Yeah, Yol's body kind of fallen into place. Speak thy desire, honorable lord. Ah, good tidings. Thy spouse is ready. The time is ripe to greet her. The girl awaits thee in the hidden dark moon chamber of Anor Londo. So thou mayst a true monarch become. Ah, good the time the good so till we meet again. May the Right, sorry for skipping that. I should have expected that, my bad. Oh yeah, didn't even burn the bone shard. Well, let's do that on camera. On Elgato, whatever the fuck you want to call this. Right, well, that's taken care of. Episode over. I've got some farming I, I can go do, and I've got to clear up my computer because I'm running out of space. You know, it's almost like I should be, you know, editing these before I record more. Anyway, my thanks, etc., etc. Thanks, girl. And I'll catch you later. Hey! What?